Hello and welcome to the Behind the Scenes feature. Today we will follow the eminent members of the jury. But first, some statistics. The organizers of the competition were filled with joy and surprise when at the beginning of December last year they counted the applications coming in for the 17th Chopin competition in Warsaw. A record 455 pianists from 45 countries declared a desire to compete. That is a hundred more than in 2010. Besides an artistic biography and a filled out application, they had to send in video recordings of themselves playing Chopin. These interpretations were listened to intently by the members of the admission committee. The 160 best applicants were invited to Warsaw for public eliminations. Not quite half managed to qualify for the main competition. That is, 78 of them. Now they have to convince the eminent members of the jury to their interpretation of Chopin's music. But how to play this music? One of Chopin's students said, Chopin always played his works with different expression, and yet they remained equally beautiful thanks to new inspiration. He could play the same work 20 times and one would listen to it with the same joy. It is to him that I owe an expression that is different every time, which he taught me while performing his works. Now, will the jury find the same joy here? Is there a new Ivo Pogorelic for Marta Archeric to discover? Or maybe someone will remind Philippe Entremont of Arthur Rubinstein. There will be many discussions. There will be many opinions. And just one winner. Who will it be? You know something is happening. It has to be it has to come from feather. From the Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But we'll see. Maybe a pianist that will stay so true to the score that he will convince Professor John Ring. Or maybe a great pianist of the future that will charm them all. The question is still open.